waters off North Wales are pretty cold. Having the right kit is very important. All the marine mammals that live in the sea have a thick layer of blubber, but unfortunately as humans, we're not always so lucky. Got a pretty thick wetsuit on here, thick gloves, thick neoprene socks, and pretty much the entirety of my skin is covered in preparation to get into the sea. Anticipation always builds as you get in. Whenever you dive, you never quite know what you're going to find. It could be lobster, it could be crab, it could be four or five different species of fish. And it's not uncommon to see seals and dolphins zipping past you underwater as well. A lot of the life can be in very shallow water. It's always best to make sure you load up the moment you get in. Often a stray mullet or bass will zip past you just as you're swimming out to where you think the most productive areas would be. Regularly on the way out, you see quite interesting life. Prawns, crabs, small flatfish, a real variety of stuff here. One of the biggest misconceptions people have about spearfishing is that you need to dive deep. You don't. The majority of the life is very, very shallow in the areas where there's significant kelp growth. That tends to provide a habitat for the fish to live in. It's fantastic to walk slowly out of the water after a successful day's fishing. On this instance, I managed to catch four lobsters, taking two home for the table. The other two were laden with eggs and you could return in order to preserve stocks for the future.